When evidence surfaced that the IRS was targeting Tea Party and conservative groups and denying them tax-exempt status, President Obama vowed to get to the bottom of it. Remember this? If you've got the IRS operating in anything less than a neutral and nonpartisan way, uh, then that is outrageous. It is contrary to our traditions. Uh, and people have to be held accountable, and it's got to be fixed. He's right. But is the Justice Department being neutral and bipartisan in appointing an Obama campaign supporter who's donated thousands to head up that investigation? Fox News legal analyst Peter Johnson Jr. joins us. Peter, the woman's name is Barbara Boston. Yeah, and, she has donated and, and this is what I say. Well. It's outrageous, and people have to be held accountable, and no one's being held accountable. And so an Obama campaign supporter that gave more than $6,000 is now going to investigate the IRS Tea Party scandal. Well, that sounds like Chicago justice to me. What does that sound like to you? I want to ask you, Steve Ducey, because you're the anchor here. But it's incredible. The Justice Department says, don't look at these campaign contributions. Let's us look at what those campaign contributions are, totaling about six thousand dollars four hundred dollars two fifty thirty six hundred in two thousand eight two thousand in two thousand twelve and then another five hundred for good measure to the obama victory fund and so miss bosserman who i'm sure is a fine lawyer sure is tainted by these contributions tainted by these contributions and so we expect her to put all of that aside put all her political proclivities aside and say i'm going to be fair now to sure. this I, I i'm for the president i've given repeatedly but i'm going to give these poor tea party people who've been uh, uh screwed over big time sure. a fair shake you know, this would be like, in, with the Chris Christie thing, yeah. a U.S. attorney is looking into it, who is appointed by Barack Obama. This would be like Chris Christie in, uh, appointing somebody to investigate the bridge thing. And you, you don't have to go to law school. All you have to have is a sense of fairness and this, justice and ethics and, and a sense of Americanism. Now, the DOJ says, no, it's okay. We can do this. A spokeswoman said, it is contrary to department policy and a prohibited personnel practice under federal law to consider consider the political affiliation of career employees or other non-merit factors in making personal decisions. So what they're saying is uh, that person could give $15,000, $20,000. Yeah, but so they're sworn to uphold the, the law. And, and, and I, I guarantee that she is devoted to the law and that she has the best intentions. But it is an apparent and an obvious and a real conflict of interest and in those situations you step out you step sure. away step away so as as people are looking in and they're thinking okay the president promised he'd get to the bottom of the IRS thing so the person getting to the bottom of it is a political it's stupid politically on top to the of president. the ethics of it because it makes the investigation look sleazy all right that's easy that's easy, easy. that's what it looks like all right Peter thank you very much good to see you good to see you what do you think about that email at friendsoffoxnews.com? Meanwhile, coming up, could your Facebook friends be hurting your credit score? Peter, you're one of mine. Stop it. The answer is yes, and the details are next. Then it's the real story of four Navy SEALs, and it's hitting the movie theaters today. The real-life lone survivor, Marcus Luttrell, joins us live coming up. You're not going to want to miss it.